quick dev tip. Did you know about the Speed Tree Color Variation Material Node? This one's super cool and can help you create subtle variety for things like grass or leaves in your project. I'm colorblind, so hopefully my examples make sense, but it is really simple to do. Go to your material, look for Speed Tree, and we're looking for the Speed Tree Color Variation Node. So you want to plug whatever color you got going on here into the base color, and then make a scalar parameter uh, and just feed that in there. So we're looking for very low numbers in this, so you could probably you could set some slider mid maxes, but we'll just leave it default. Then we come back to my main example here. Now if we play with that value, we can see some subtle uh, variations start to appear, and you will be able to see this before I can. It's just adding that subtle variance. Now we can put bigger numbers in, but it starts to really mess with the color pretty quickly. So I think lower is better. As a second part of this example, I turned it into a foliage. So it adds that little bit of variety to the colors, um, which otherwise it would just look exactly the same. But I think it's a nice little subtle effect that can add to your things. So this works exactly the same way in Unreal 5 as well. So using that speed tree color variation node, uh, feeding in a scalar and taking, a, taking an original color. 